Welcome to the grip truck. These are some things that you might find on a typical film set, and I'm gonna show you how to use them. The C-stand, the backbone of the grip department. This is a short C-stand, it has a short arm and a head, usually attached to it. This one has a Rocky Mountain leg, which allows you to place it on any terrain or surface. Big C-stand, full-size C-stand, 40-inch C-stand. Lots of different names. This is probably the most common thing that you're gonna wanna grab off the grip truck. This is a four by four, um, solid with a floppy that Velcro's on. So this is to completely block the light. There are also different diffusions that you might find on a frame like this, but solids are definitely the most used. Two by three size, two by three feet, 18 by 24. Usually duvetyn, so it's flame resistant, but you can still burn them, so don't get too close to the hot lights. Also, nets. Single is usually a green edge. It's a single net, so it takes the light down by half a stop. You can put this in front of a light to cut it down. Double net has a red border. If somebody asks for one, always bring both. Cucoloris, the cookie. So this is if you want like a dappled sunlight effect, kind of like the leaves, sunlight through the leaves. Um, you can put this in front of a light and it makes a nice little dappled shadow. Setting a C-stand, you'll always want the weight of the flag to be tightening the head. We call it righty tighty. So, if I set it like this, and I put the weight over the big leg, righty tighty, as it pulls down, it's gonna make that tighter. If you put it the other way, it's gonna make it looser and it could fall. So always righty tighty, and always over the big leg of the C-stand. And then, last but not least, the sandbag, Grip's best friend. Always use a sandbag. On the big leg, and if the sandbag is touching the ground, it's not doing anything. So make sure it's like actually just weighting down the stand, and the sandbag should go under the weight of the flag. That way it's nice and stable. It's not gonna fall over, not gonna hurt anybody. So this two by three flag would often be used as a cutter. Um, you'd use it around a light to shape the light. So it could be a bottomer if the light is here. Um, this would cut the light under the light, keeping it, keeping it off the ground. You could use it to block an unwanted light if there's a practical light that you don't want. Cardellini. Very essential. They can clamp onto just about anything. It has a nice pin that you can attach a head onto and then rig a flag. You could just go like this, tighten that on. You can just use your hands. You don't need a wrench. Then you could put a head and an arm on it, rig a flag off of that, boom. Four by four bounce or a four by four beadboard. It has a shiny silver side and a soft white side. If somebody asks you for this, always bring one of these. Duckbill, clapper, flapper, billy grip, holder. It's a million names, but this clamp adjusts with a screw. Put it on your board, clamp it, and then you can put this in a C-stand. Nice little up bounce. You can also rig it like this with a light. You'd work with the electricians in that case to set it up. They'd aim the light at your beadboard and you'd aim the board at whatever subject you're trying to light with a nice soft fill. 
apple boxes. Full apple. New York, Chicago, LA, half apple, quarter, pancake. You're gonna want these for camera support anytime there's dolly track going over any kind of terrain. You can stack these and a camera on a hi-hat can go on it. Also, Everybody likes to have a seat. Grip to ground adapter. Pigeon plate. These you can either screw into the wall and again, like a cardellini, attach a head and an arm to, or pigeon on a pancake or beaver board. If you want to put something low to the ground, that goes on the ground. You can put a head and an arm on it. This would be screwed down to the pancake. And boom, you've got the ability to set something at this height. Some of the tools that you might need to be a grip. This is a speed wrench, 3 16 Allen key socket on a ratchet, an adjustable C wrench, tape measure. from High Output. Plus, if you're a member of WIFNY, you get a discount.